Hi, welcome back. So in the last tutorial, I posed a question to you. That is, teachers would tell you that you would put the units you want in the numerator on top. And you would put the unit that you do not want or the one you would like to cancel out in the bottom. Okay, so you can cancel out. Now, the question is, what is the what's the reason behind this arrangement? Why do we always put the units we want on top? Why do we always put the uh, the one you want to cancel in the bottom? Now, if you follow this procedure, things turn out perfectly. Okay, you want the, this is the this is the answer that you want. It is for, is this your answer? But we cannot just use the answer to justify our method or our procedure. We have to understand why it is okay to do it this way. And this is what I realized that a common, a common challenge for many students, that is, when do we know when to flip the conversion factor? When do we know it is okay to put it this way or it's not okay to put it this way that we have to flip it to make it okay? So we would like to take a deeper look on this particular part. Okay, now, we do this. Okay, we put the uh, same 10,000 centimeters square on top, one meter square in the bottom, and if we do the calculation, it turns out perfectly. We have the answer in terms of centimeters square. It is beautiful. Okay, it is perfect. We got the perfect answer for this particular question. And why do we have to do it this way? Now, to show you to to show you the argument, I'm going to do the same question, but I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip this conversion factor and see what we get. Okay, and uh, I'm going to erase this part since we have that in the previous tutorial. And I'm going to transfer this answer into here. So we have 20,000 centimeters squared for this calculation. So what I would do is this. Okay, let me get a different color marker. And what uh, we're going to do, we are going to do is this. I'm going to start off with two meters square, and I'm going to flip the conversion factor. Like this, okay? Now, you would, the first thing that may, you may come to your mind is that, well, hold on, hold on, it is not correct because the unit cannot cancel out now. This is not a correct thinking to think about where how we should put it this way. Because unit may not cancel out every single time. That is not a reasonable argument. Okay? That is not something that you justify yourself to say that this is not correct. Now let's look at it, look, let's look at this conversion factor in a very mathematical way. So we look at the numerator. 1 meter square, the denominator 10,000 centimeters square, and based on the equality that we had in the previous tutorial, they are still the same. And that means this conversion factor is still equal to 1. Okay, It is still equal to 1. So we are not changing anything. We are still obeying the mathematical rules. We are not scaling things out. We are not making things smaller. Okay, so this is still, this is still reasonable to put it this way. It is reasonable to flip it. Now, the, the problem comes in when we do the calculation. Okay? When we do the calculation. So, there is nothing that we can cancel. We may be able to simplify this one. Okay? We may be able to simplify this one. 2 and the uh, 10,000, we can uh, simplify a little bit. And uh, let's write down our answer, we, since that's the most uh, simplification we can do. So meter square times meter square. That will be meter to the fourth power. And what is left in the denominator is this 5,000. And uh, since I don't have my calculator with my hand in my hand, I'm just going to write 1 over 5,000. Okay? And uh, we have centimeter square. Okay, now let me ask you a question and I want you to think about this very carefully. And the question is this. Is this equal to that, the two meters square? 
are they equal? Okay, are they equal to each other? Okay, so let me give you five seconds. Okay, so the answer is they are equal to each other. Remember, there is an equal sign. And we are just multiplying this by 1. So technically speaking, they are still equal to each other. Okay? They are equal. But now, the next question comes in. What is this? What's this thing? How would you interpret this quantity? Something in the units of meter to the fourth power over centimeters squared. What is this? What is this quantity? And the very straightforward answer comes to my mind is that I don't know. I have never seen a unit like this in my real life. And this is the reason why we don't want to flip the conversion factor this way. Because if we put it in the other way, not we are not saying that it violates the mathematical, mathematical rules. It is not. It does not violate any mathematical rules. But what happened is that the answer that we obtained at the very end is not something that we understand. It's not something that we know how to interpret. And that becomes a problem. Okay. So let me repeat again. These two quantities, they are equal to each other because we are simply multiplying this quantity by 1. So it should still remain as itself. But the problem comes in with the interpretation of this quantity. We just do not know how to interpret this type of quantity. And that doesn't make sense to us at all. That doesn't make sense in reality. And that is the reason why the teacher would say that, oh, you always put the unit you want in the top and the unit you do not want in the bottom. That is the reason behind it. Okay? So from now on, when you try to set up a conversion calculation, when you set up a conversion factor, so remember a few points. First, do you have a valid equality like this? Okay, they must be valid. You better check if they are valid. Okay, try to come up with some method. Like in the uh, in the previous example, I use uh, a George diagram with a square, and then I prove myself that they are equal to each other. Okay, and then which one do you put on top? Which one do you put at the bottom? And you better have a reason to support yourself. Okay, and next, you carry your calculations correctly. Okay. And make sure you know how to interpret the answer. So that will be some main points that I would like you to be aware of when you do this type of calculation uh, in uh, in terms in the unit conversion. So now, if you understand what's going on with the square, okay, with the number with the dimension in square, and I hopefully you should understand the same thing if it happens to be a cube or to the fourth power or whatever. Because we hold the same concept that this has to be the numerator has to equal to the denominator and the overall is equal to one. So this is how we get through the calculation.